G'day viewers, Oren here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to request and install an SSL certificate on a Windows Server 25 computer running Internet Information Services. The first thing I need to do is generate a certificate request file. I can do that from the certificate snap-in of a Microsoft Management Console. So to do that, I run MMC. I go to Add, Snap-in, I select Certificates, I click Add, I select the computer account because I need to request this certificate in the context of the computer's identity. I click Next, I select Local Computer as a target, and then I choose OK. So now I've got the console open, I right click on the Personal Certificates node, I select All Tasks, and I select Advanced Operations. I select Create Custom Requests. On the Certificate Enrollment page, I click Next, and I choose to proceed without an enrollment policy. I click Next. I choose here to use no template, CNG key, and leave it as PKCS10. I click Next. Now the trick on this certificate information page, you'll see it looks like there's nothing here. But what you want to do is click on this little down arrow next to Details. I click on that, and then I click on Properties. And this is where I can fill out the details of the certificate I want to request. I give it a friendly name here. I'm calling it WS25 IIS Certificate. On the Subject tab, I select common name and then I put in the fully qualified domain name that I want the certificate to map to. In this case, WS25 IIS Windows Server.info. I click add. The next thing I do is the alternative name. I set the DNS name to the same fully qualified domain name and I click add. On the extensions page, I make sure that the key usage is set to digital signature and key encipherment. Under Extended Usage, I put it in, the in as Server Authentication. On Private Key, I make sure that the cryptographic provider is set to RSA, Microsoft Software Key Storage Publisher. I set the key option length to 2048. I make the private key exportable and allow the private key to be archived. All I need to do then is click Apply, OK, and then I click Next. I'm asked where I want to save the certificate request file. I put it in the temp directory. I make sure it's set to Base64 and I save it as an SSL request. I close that console. I go and look at the certificate request file in Notepad and I can see here it's a Base64 certificate request. The next thing I do is I go across to my standalone certificate server I set up in a previous video. You might be going and using a third party certificate server. The same method of generating a request file will work with any certificate server from the big public ones to the ones you run yourself. If my computer didn't trust this CA, I could click through the warning to use this page to download a CA certificate and then install it and my computer would then trust it. And that's what I did before I'm running this demo. What I'm doing here is I'm selecting request a certificate and then submitting an advanced certificate request. Then I go back to my notepad window, copy the text, paste it in and click submit. Then I jump across to my certificate server and approve the request. Back on my IIS computer, I navigate back to the CA root page of the Web Enrollment app and I can go and view the status of pending certificate requests. When it's got my certificate request there, I can click on it. I download a Base64 encoded certificate and I select Keep because it's warning me that this is a certificate. I get the warning because illegitimate certificates are an attack vector. I put it in my downloads directory, I rename it because I want to keep this certificate and archive it for later, so I give it a memorable name. I then double click on it, I get my security warning, I click open and then I click install certificate. Now it asks me wonder what context do I want to install the certificate, because it's an SSL certificate, I want to select the local machine context. I click next and then I specify the certificate store where I want to put it in, and because it's an SSL certificate, I want to throw it in the machine's personal store. I click next, I click finish. I click OK after the import is successful. OK, so the certificate is now imported. Next thing I need to do is open up IIS Manager and select my website. In this case, I'm doing it for the default website. I then select Bindings. On the Bindings page, I click Add. I specify the protocol as HTTPS. I select my certificate, which is the WS25 IIS certificate I just installed, and I specify the host name is WS25-IIS.WindowsServer.info. I click OK, and I click Close to apply that binding. Right, let's check it out. I open up Edge. I open up a new tab. I put in the URL with HTTPS, and I can see I get the default Windows Server IIS page. I can click on the little lock and I can see that this is a secure connection. I can see the logo. The certificate has installed properly. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you found that informative and I'll see you in the next video.